All right, YouTube, here comes a, you know, a northbound on CSX. Yes, it is. Oh, man, SD70 back at an SD49-2 on 781. Forty-seven, forty-eight, and twenty-six, twenty-six. GP thirty-eight dash two. If I close the one to back up. And it was pretty short day, but a good, good amount of rain going in. Zoom in on that. Wow, that's probably about 20 or 25 cars going north. So there you have it, guys. F781, CSX F781-18. As he heads north with all EMD lash up, SD70 Mac, and a GP38-2, all for power. That's a good lash up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hey YouTube, it's the second part of the train. I know part of it was cut short because so I had to move up a little bit. But this is F76714 that's coming uh, out of Kilby. Uh, ES44AH up front with a DC, an AC4400, and a Tier 4. So this is where we stand right now. Looking pretty good today. Looking pretty good for this train. He should be going to the Commonwealth today. Thirty seventeen was the leader with fifty four ninety six. Uh, twenty seven, I think that was the AC forty four hundred and one and two, and a tier four was behind it. And it looks like he's going to the Commonwealth today. He's ready. To get, he's ready to tell. He's coming north, and he is going to be taking the uh, the track to get to. Uh, the CWT. This might be Q354, I'm not sure, but that's where we stand with the train right now. Yeah, for speed, yeah, yeah, he's going to the con because look how slow he's going. He can go no more than 10 to 15 miles an hour to get onto the switch that he will go to the CWRY, and then the speed limit will be there uh, about 15 miles an hour. Yeah, but they look good. The is let me explain what's happening now. F767's loads for Portsmouth are being set off by Q354, formerly Q136. So basically what's happening now is Q354 setting them off at Kilby, and then F767 will be called to go pick the loads up, and then they will take it northbound to the CWRY if it's loads. Now they're just going back to take bear tables and go straight back to the terminal. Because the Commonwealth crew will be handed over to this train uh, when it gets there, when they assign a crew to it. So it's it's going to be pretty interesting how this is all going to let how this is all going to unfold. But they will stop the train at the Martian Yard. They'll switch crews, and this train will be taken right into the terminal. That's the way this works. Pretty neat operation. So far, every car has been loaded, which is very very good for the holiday rush. Oh, there's a Kansas City Southern car right there. Take a look. Pretty neat. It's happening to run errands through town and happen to come across the train. Pretty neat. Or this could very well be Q354. I'm not sure because I don't have my radio on me, but 5296 was on yesterday's F767. He didn't go back on Q355. This might be F767. I don't know. If somebody can confirm the symbol on this train, let me know because all help is appreciated. All help is appreciated.
There's a new container right there. Let me zoom in on it. Sea castle. Yeah, he's going to the CWRY. This might be 354. I don't know how many cars this train's got, but it's a lot of it. This is really good business for CSX right now. And speaking of CSX, uh, Hunter Harrison passed away. Uh, Gary Foote is now the acting CEO at this time. Uh, really sad, really, really sad, um, sad moment for CSX at this time. My condolences go out to the Harrison family and to the families of CSX. CN and CP. Very, very, very sad. I haven't got a new wheel on it. You can still see the new markings on it, man. That's good. Yeah. He's got a lot on there today. He's got a lot. Actually, for the looks of this, this is probably Q354. I'm not sure. But this baby's a monster today. This baby is a monster. I've already seen a lot of the double stacks. You get a lot of the single stacks. Four GEs on this one and two EMDs on a... Uh, on F781 yesterday, it was a 70 Mac and a 38-2. That video is up there for your enjoyment. Here we go, we got another double stack coming up. Oh yeah. CMA CGM in Burgundy. Wow, I'm surprised they even had Burgundy cars. I mean, a Burgundy container, excuse me. And CMA bought somebody else. I think they bought Tex or they bought somebody. I'm not sure who they bought. There's a new container coming up right now. It's a Triton container. This is incredible. I don't know how all that train can fit in the yarding in the yard for the CW, but this this is this is really really huge coming in. That this is really really good. There's an old Hanson container. Hanson filed bankruptcy. Uh, last summer. And no wonder why Ford GEs were on that train. Man, it's a new CAI container. Look at the top of it. Man, that container is gorgeous. It was just built. Wow. And there's a container right there with a tarp on it. 
don't know why that's there. If anybody knows why they've got tarps on some of these containers, please leave a comment in the description box. I'm just really curious on what, what, what they, why those containers are up there. Got more and more double stacks. This is over a hundred cars. This has got to be 354. This has got to be 354. And is that the end of it? Yes, it is. Wow. Well, there you have it, YouTube. Possibly Q354. 17, I guess. As he heads north for the CWRY with four Gs on the point today. Man, what a colossal train. But anyway, there you have it. Thanks for watching.